If you've never heard of Psalms and have no idea what they mean, don't worry, I was in exactly the same position you guys are. Take a chance, watch this video, and let's see if I can help lighten the idea on you. Recently, when I've been going through YouTube, I follow a lot of YouTube fitness influencers. I'm seeing all these videos. Am I on Psalms? Have I been taking Psalms? And I thought to myself, what on earth are these? I've never, ever heard of them. They've never come up in conversation. It must be something relatively new. So I dived into the internet, went onto PubMed, found some articles, went through some other some articles and just try to get a vague understanding of it in a whole and then break it down with you. But to break it down, we have got to understand what are Psalms and what do they do. So now Psalms stand for Selective Androgen Receptor Modulators. So in other words, they are very similar to steroids. But now to understand how Psalms work, we've got to understand the physiology of a hormone. So in other words, a hormone is the chemical messaging pathways that the body uses to communicate with the cells within the body and with the other cells all throughout the body by using these chemical pathways. But now specifically, your, your Psalms which are your selective antigen receptor molecules, I have it written down just so I get it right. Um, these molecules, these androgens are most appropriate for masculinity. So these are uh, responsible for increasing facial hair, increasing your tone of your voice, increasing your muscle mass, and lowering your body fat percentages, and so on and so on and so on. But to understand this, we've got to understand how do these play a role. With Psalms, they do this by two ways. Firstly, they have a high affinity for communicating with your receptor molecules responsible for your muscles and your bones and less likely to target your liver, your prostate and your brain and other such organs. In other ways, they're harder to break down. So it's less likely that they can form another substance that will then cause long-term side effects as you see with DHT and estrogen. Another way they do this is by psalms are resistant to a molecule called aromatase. Now what aromatase does is it converts your testosterone into estrogen, what you see with a lot of steroid users and they get things which are man boobs, which you do not want. Are Psalms safe to take? Through all the research I could find is that they're still doing a lot of clinical trials and that they haven't been proven to show any long-term benefits, even though the short-term benefits have been seen to be better than taking steroids. The long-term benefits, they haven't studied it clinically in depth to get the actual the actual to actually know if it's going to affect you as much as steroids does in the long term but they did do one study i found they came across a clinical study where they took eight male patients and they all ingested three milligrams of psalms a day and what they found is as anything if you know your pathophysiology if you know your physiology if you're taking in anything externally as testosterone as you do what's equivalent in this case or your anabolic steroids which is your artificial testosterone after you start taking them, your natural production of testosterone is going to be lower because you're getting it artificially, so it doesn't need it. So after this 86 weeks, I think the study was, they saw that there was a 23% reduction in testosterone production, and there was a 43% reduction in total testosterone levels within the body. And that is pretty massive if you think about the numbers. So when we think about it, Psalms are a drug, I'm going to call it that, that produce pretty similar effects to anabolic steroids, even though they are not as high as anabolic steroids, but even so they produce more benefits and more muscle gains and more fat reduction than anything you can get from a natural supplement. But just because, this is the main take home message, if you watch this whole video, I hope it gave you a little bit of background information on them, but the one thing, just because they are safer to take than steroids, anabolic steroids, it does not mean they are safe to take and you should not take them I personally feel if you if you're healthy you shouldn't touch them rather stick to all your natural stuff here my supplements my cell mass my synthesis won't touch anything else and if you are the uh, osteoporotic and you have various other sicknesses that where if the steroids or sounds like this can benefit you then I would say consult a doctor then take them but other than that I would stay away from them, just keep on working hard, and let's get some natty gains. I hope you guys all like this video. The more you guys interact with me on it, the more you hit the like, dislike button, comment, share, 
the more people with the algorithms on YouTube will be able to see it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching.